one, we will do another little touch up on uh, how I got everything set up, but we're going to be doing farming, so I'll go more in depth of how to make a basic hoe, and um, how to farm. I actually set up a tiny little farm here to show you what we will be creating. Uh, I guess my carrots, well these used to be carrots, <laughs> but now they're seeding. But I'm going to teach you where to find corn, uh, carrots, wheat, milkweed, a raspberry, and a, uh, a gooseberry, I believe it's called. Hold on. A gooseberry, yes. So I'm going to be teaching you how to find these in the wild and how to plant them because there's a specific way. Well, yeah, there's a specific way for each. And how to farm. First things first, I'll keep the book out because um, in the corner, if you click your book, it will let you know uh, uh, what you're looking at. And if you click on the icons, it tells you what you can do with it. I mean, berries aren't the best example, but it's okay. Alrighty, so we shall go... And the first thing we're going to look for is, uh, no, actually, you know what? First step, make yourself a hoe. So go out in the wild and you're going to look for right here called a straight branch. This is going to be how you make your beginner bow. And then look out um, in the green areas or any place. Specifically, you can find round rocks in the desert biomes. But look for a round rock and then turn it into a sharp stone if you don't already have one. And then you're going to hit that straight branch that you just got from the tree and turn it into a long shaft. So once again, if you highlight it with a book, it will show you your long shaft and it will also show you how to make your long shaft too. See, sharp stone plus straight branch. So from here, uh, you already have two of the three things you need to make your basic hoe. You have your sharp rock and you have your long shaft. Now what you're going to need is two threads to make a rope because the rope's going to tie your sharp stone to the long shaft. So let's go back out in this wild and we are going to find some milkweed. <laughs> Here we go. So since this is going to be a recap of last, uh, not all the way, but a little bit of last tutorial. Remember to wait until your milkweed is done flowering. So see the butterfly? That's the flowering stage. You want to hit it when it's the seeding stage because you need seeds. So this is seeds. Because if you kill your resources in any of the versions of these games, doesn't matter if it's one hour, one life, you are hope. And two hours, one life. You kill your resources, you murdered yourself and your whole village. So, <laughs> don't do that. So, we got some seeds. Um, and milkweed's important. If you want clothes, you want to make anything, <laughs> make sure you seed out those milkweeds. Alrighty, so we're going to head back down. Oh, and I forgot to say, in this version, you only need to tap on the milkweed twice um in the other one hour one life i don't know what it's called but they turn into these little stalks and you ha literally have to kill four milkweeds to get one rope like i just did this one just two so now you just combine your rope to the long shaft and see now it has a little stick it will show you other things that you can do with the uh tied up rope but we are making right here the stone hoe. So if you click the stone hoe, it'll tell you exactly what you do next. So you just combined a sharp stone with the tied shaft. So here we go. Hi, kitty. <laughs> I have a kitty with me right now, so I do apologize if you hear me out in the background. All right, so now we have the hoe. I was saying there are two different ways to make baskets on this game, which I will show you once I plant more wheat. Um, <laughs> for now, let's make sure I go eat some berries. Uh, we're going to just be, um, we're going to do the noob way and just survive on berries right now. When you're, when you're starting out, though, when you're making a new place and you're on public server, put your berries on the ground 
you don't have to put all of them but just some because then your plant will respawn more and if you're struggling with food you got some on the ground and babies can pick them up alrighty so now that you got your basket and now you got your hoe we're off to look for the very first um, items so actually we can get three of these so carrot corn and wheat we can all get in the what I call the rabbit biome so mine is east so we'll head here so this this right here I call the rabbit biome because this is where you'll find all your rabbits so if you take your book out it will let you know what everything is so right here is wheat if you pluck it you get a wheat seed put it in your basket this right here is your toes night. I am sorry for the pronunciation. I cannot read. I'm just going to call it your corn. <laughs> That's your corn plant. And then I've already picked a few, but right here, let's find one that I didn't pick. And right here is your carrots. So a lot of people when they see these they usually just take their sharp stone and whack it to get the uh, wild carrot make sure you grab the seeds off of them because if you cut it down you your seeds will disappear so there you got three things you need to start your planting a uh, heads up wheat does vanish though unlike the other two seeds you can just rest them on the ground and then plant later the wheat seed is timed I don't know how long it's timed I say I'm gonna guess like maybe three minutes and then it disappears but don't quote me I never actually sat and timed it so now that you got your seed you got to go out and find some dirt in the future we can make compost but that's when we do the animal tutorial right now we're still like a new Eve little village so if you highlight this this tells you this is your fertile soil and um I like to grab it with the baskets, but you can, there's multiple ways you can grab it, but we made a basket, and I usually like to make my, um, my farms near water, so in this game, your wells are created by your duck ponds, so you gotta make it dry though, you, um, you gotta dry out your water, so we're gonna just put it near this pond with Sir Duckins. Then we're going to grab a few different compost. I keep calling it compost. Well, I mean, it, it's not technically compost, but I'm so used to having compost in my village. Soil, there we go. Put it on the ground. Now, say you made some bowls like last tutorial. You're going to... Um, I'll show you two different ways to do it. I don't like wasting my resources. So what I like to do is I like to take this compost and separate it. You could do it about three. The problem is, is when you separate it, you need to whack it with your hoe two times in order to make it deep soil, because this is going to be called um, shallow. And then you hit it again and it's deep. But if you keep all the compost together, it just automatically becomes deep um, tilled row. But you're basically using more soil though for one spot and again it's all about your resources so you can easily replant milkweed and find a sharp stone to make another hoe then you can finding more soil at the beginning so and all right now we're gonna plant our stuff all right <laughs> it looks like the wheat disappeared on me I knew it was going to but it's okay I have a wheat plant right here so what's nice about planting wheat is just grab the ones you've already planted and you get more seeds from it. I hear a kitty singing to me. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to plant all three of these seeds that we found. Noink. And we're going to head out and find the next stuff. So, milkweed, very easy. We already hit one in the beginning of the, the stream, actually. So... You're going to just head over to where you seeded out that milkweed and then you're just going to plant it. I have some right here. So we're going to put down more soil. Eat a berry so I don't die. <laughs> so I'm still not paying attention to my noise. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
We'll make an extra one for good luck. There we go. Whack this twice. And now we're gonna plant our milkweed. Very simple. Ooh. Now raspberries and berry bushes, a little different. So what you're gonna do with your raspberry bush, which is right here, see how it says sharp stone, dug raspberry bush. You can also use a shovel, but we need iron for that, which we don't have. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your sharp stone and you're gonna look for, I'm gonna call it this grass biome. You can find raspberries only in this biome. So let's venture around and see if I have any more ras wild raspberries. So there's one right there. So whack it. And now you're just gonna bring it with you. <laughs> Pretty easy. And then you're gonna put it on your deep tilled row. And you're all set and then we'll water it because the thing with raspberries a lot of beginners also do is they they'll plant them which is great but then they forget to water them and they'll never grow berries because they're dry see how it says dry raspberry bush you want it to be used you want it to look nice and green and not like it's wiltering so with a berry bush the gooseberry bush what you're gonna do is look for a one of your wild ones you can use this one too the planted one but let's say it's not there because we're pretending i didn't already plant one so here's a wild one so you're gonna grab one of the berries and then you're going to grab one of your flint stones and then you're gonna whack it and it becomes this really tiny little black speckle that's your gooseberry seed and then you're going to plant it boink there so easy enough we got everything planted so now we need to water everything the last tutorial i showed you guys how to um, make bowls and clay uh well make clay bowls i should say <laughs> i said it backwards so just a recap we'll hit this and we'll show you and so to make a bowl you go out into your jungle which is down here find clay whack it with a stone to turn it into a bowl once you turn it into a bowl you're gonna grab your tongs right here which you'll probably see me do later uh just to do a, another little recap then you're gonna grab your wet um bowl cook it in your furnace and boom you got yourself a bowl again i'll do another little one later here i'm gonna eat my berries Another fun trick that I like to show newcomers is you literally just highlight a berry bush like this and it'll fill your bowl up and then just scroll up on your character and they'll eat it. You can't do it with raspberry bushes, see, it won't let you, but you can always do it with your gooseberries. But all right, now it's time to water. So we're gonna go over here and start watering. At the beginning, if you don't have more duck ponds, I recommend you do not um, dry out your duck water until you collected, I want to say about eight rocks. I don't know. I, you need a lot of rocks in order to hit a well, but you also need a shovel. So try not to kill your, your pond right away until you have a shovel and a, enough rocks. <laughs> Because if you have a big family on and you don't got the water, you're a little screwed. But we'll, we're okay. It's just um, it's just me. And I don't mind showing you what a dried pond looks like because I have another pond right there. And uh, I got I to gotta show you what everything looks like. <laughs> Which means we got to expand our farm soon. But that's the beginning steps of your farm. So now everything's going to start growing, which is great. So carrots on this game, they grow quick, but unlike one hour, one life, they do not seed quickly at all. Like in one hour, one life, you got them like three minutes or something and they're already seeding. It's quick. But in this game, it literally takes like 30 to an hour, real 30 minutes to an hour for your carrots to seed. So make sure if you have carrots, you always plant at least two seeds. So one run row is for pies or whatever you need it for. And then the other one, just leave it. Leave it for seeding. 
Because if you run out of seeds in a rabbit biome, you're going to go hunting for another one. And the farther you have to go, the worse it's going to be for you and your family. And we, we don't want that. So we're going to go grab another one. I feel... Also, which is nice in this game right now, Santa is in the snow biomes for a holiday event for winter. So it'll be... Oh, look, iron, guys. We'll pick that up after. Um, so if we run into Santa, Christmas for us. <laughs> All right, we'll plant one more carrot. An iron right here. This is your iron, which is real good to find. This is what you use for crafting all of your tools. So we're going to bring that back to the furnace. I didn't actually think I was going to find iron that quickly. I don't even have my flat stone. <laughs> hey, I mean, if, if we get this farming done pretty well, <laughs> maybe I'll show the beginning of forging. No, forging is a lot more complicated than pies, so... I'll, I'll think about that. <laughs> I'll debate which one I should show next. The th nice thing about forging, though, is once you get it down, the basic parts, everything's pretty much repetitive. How to make almost every tool pretty repetitive. Basic tools, I should say. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I hid my thing behind the tree. It's another stream where I just throw my basket everywhere. I do it every time. My, my person just does not like to keep her basket. Okay, so we're going to expand the farm. So when you're starting out, um, it's always good to have a lot of milkweed. You can put make your farm any way you like to do it. But um, in this game, you can't use, I think it's called pine. You can't make pine flooring, which is a little bit of a bummer. Because on the PC version, I always see the farms with like, I think it's pine. This stuff on the floor. You can't do that on this one. You could just make tea. <laughs> so it's a little upsetting, but you could still use flat rocks and wood and stuff if you want for your farms. But... That's why I just kind of shove them all together. I'm like, whatever, game. <laughs> Be like that then. See if I care. But yeah, so see how this is deplenishing? So in the last tutorial, I told you that your clay, as long as you leave one piece in there, it fills back up. Dirt is not the same. So once you lose that dirt, and you hit it with a shovel it becomes clay and then after that it's gone so that's why getting um, manure and all that other fun stuff to make compost is uh is important but we're, we're just a beginning thing and um even if you have like say five kids you, you should be okay at the beginning as long as you look around for more dirt piles and you do what i uh the separating like this you should be fine because what you want to do is you want to you want to plant at least enough carrots and wheat to start making pie because uh keeping your family hungry i mean <laughs> hungry no you don't want to keep them hungry keeping your family full is your goal there's only so many gooseberries that will go around so I'm gonna whack all this there we go I'm gonna plant more wheat I say try to have at least three or four it doesn't it doesn't have to be too too many at the start and carrots again it depends how many you have two one to three rows is fine but just again leave one row to um one row to seed up so with the corn there's also another way to get seeds once you plant a corn grab one and then we're going to um shuck it and you can use 
a sharp stone or a flint i don't know why but i always just use flint to shuck corn and you're gonna do this so when you do that it becomes a u-shucked corn leave it out to dry and once it dries we're gonna hit it with our flint again and it will seed for us and just leave it there because it will continue seeding the more um for the rest of the time it's just chilling so and then you can plant those little seeds and get more corn that way that way you don't have to go all the way back to that biome and uh start getting seeds that way the way i see it is just just bring the resources to you make your life easier don't make it more uh more difficult all right that that's good <laughs> That's a good start of a little farm right here. Plant a couple, we'll plant a couple more milkweed because again, milkweed's used for everything and I, I made a big enough farm and I got space. <laughs> Boink. Because um, milkweed, the string is used for clothing. It's also used for, um, as I said, signs. It's used for your hoe. Gosh, it's used for everything. <laughs> everything. That's why if you, if someone makes you a big milkweed farm, thank them. <laughs> Say, bless your soul for making this gigantic milkweed farm for us. Because then you're set. I mean, make sure that when they're, they're making that farm, you know you got enough compost to go around and can have it for veggies and stuff but still be very happy if someone plants quite a bit for you oh look i dried it out so this is what a dried um pond looks like and you are sad because if say you didn't kill your duck what you need for foraging you're you're pretty much screwed so a lot of newbies like to dry out their well before they kill their duck and then they have to go find another duck. And if they're in a small jungle, I mean swamp, that's not good because you usually can only have about one duck. I'm in a big one, so there's my other duck. That's why I'm okay. But it's fine. If, if you get worried and you're like, oh no, what do I do? Like, we need water. Put the water back in the pond and tell everyone, listen, we cannot farm right now unless someone's going to travel far away. Leave this pond. If you leave a pond, I don't, I don't know how long it takes. Uh, about two hours, it will regenerate, but the duck will never come back. But your pond will fill up again. So we're going to leave our water there. Let it fill up. It's going to take some time. But yeah, I think that's pretty good for our farm. 